that's about it. And but I did tell mom, I said, even when I say that, I don't take away from the fact that he does deserve the, the life that she has now. But I think she has glamorized it so much that she truly puts the people that she thinks make her look good, make her life look good on a pedestal, and then all of us are just in the background just chilling. That she just keeps around just just because, but doesn't ever want to acknowledge that. And I don't. I'm not. I'm not going to be that friend to anybody anymore. I think I do a lot. I do. A, I go above and beyond sometimes in an excessive amount for people because I genuinely want to. But I never. I do not have friends that do the same for me. And you know, I don't long for that when I do that for people. But it would be nice to not have a one-sided friendship with people. And whether my friends mean to do it or they don't, they do it. <laughs> and especially Keegan, she's been all about herself and not about anybody else, and that's fine. I was totally fine. Me and her got close a couple of years ago and, you know, thought that it would kind of be the same with me and Kaylee, but it's just, Keegan knows what she's doing. You know, I like to think Kaylee's just oblivious a lot of the time and just non-confrontational, don't want to argue, but don't want to have no feelings about nothing. She is just there. But he knows what she's doing and just all these things lately that she's been saying about me getting my feelings hurt about a seating chart so she wanted to put me in this tag. I said, Keith, this is your wedding. You put me wherever you want. When have you ever seen me make something about you about me? When have you ever seen that? I could probably recall sometimes something about me has been made about you and your sister and your family. <laughs> like I get, fr I do get frustrated, and and even though that's not what this specifically is about, it it does have a lot to do with that. Like I want to get to a place where I don't feel so insecure in my friendships, where I have a life, I have a great job, I have people in my life that I can count on. And if they're still there, that's great. If they're not, <laughs> I'm done making the effort though. Like, and that's what I mean by when, when I wasn't hanging out this week. And like, it's just, even in four days, you can just tell. Like, if you're not right up there under their ass, you're not going to get a text. You ain't going to get a phone call. You ain't going to get a nothing. I just think it's, it's this time, it's more about me. Like, I need to grow up and I need to start learning how to be okay without that constant like need or attention from them. You know? Yeah. Yeah.
Dang it. Not this year. TikTok of one where it went off and it seemed like there was a little uh, different little uh, I think what's what's bad. Happy first day. do whenever Mom, I get a draw that my <laughs> One more coming. Gabby. Hold up. Is that one? Huh? No, do another one. But go all the way down there. Don't save them. That's why they're old. Mom, that one literally shot straight to us. Smile. Put it closer to you. Gabby, you look afraid. Here and get a good picture. Get the kaboo, kaboo, kaboo. Go find the way through. Oh, and clap.
Papa Pau. Get up there. Hmm? I wish I could get up here. No, you can get up on daddy's truck. Okay.